Hello and welcome to my new video, how to draw a wolf howling at the moon. For this drawing I used a 4B pencil, any pencil would do, some black paper, a soft white pastel and some erasers. The first step in this drawing is to draw a circle, just a simple circle somewhere in the centre of your page. And then another circle towards the left of it, maybe slightly smaller. And then we'll join these two circles up, the top line will be slightly curved inwards. And then the baseline, the bottom line will be slightly curved inwards as well. And then we need to find a point towards the top right, and that will be the top of the wolf. And we'll draw a curved line, and then another curved line, to make a knife-like shape. Next we'll add a simple tail, and then we'll add the legs of the wolf. There will need to be two legs for each of the circles. The front two legs on the right of the animal would be more straight, and then the back two legs, we'll draw them straight at the beginning, and then we'll put the curve in them because of the way that they bend on the wolf. So the knee sort of goes backwards rather than forwards like a human. So we'll just try and put that in and draw it until it looks right. And now from the angle that we're looking at the wolf, we can't see the feet of the wolf because it will be cut off by a rock. So we'll just put a basic rock in. And now we need to work in, so we've got the basic shapes of the wolf now. And now we need to work in the exact silhouette. So the howling sort of shape of the mouth at the top, I'd start with that. And then work down and show the um, the hair of the wolf and then just make it look a bit more realistic and clean it up with an eraser so that you've got an outline so that we can draw more things in a moment. And so the next step is to get a, something that you can draw a circle around, maybe a plate or something like that. Draw a circle around and that can be the moon, that will be the moon, the circle. And then we need some, I'm going to use some soft white pastels but any sort of white material that you can draw with would be excellent. So it could be oil pastel, even some paint, that would work very well. And then we're going to draw the moon. And I want to make the moon look atmospheric. I'll speed up, obviously, this part of the drawing. I want to try and make the moon so it looks, so it glows. So a uh, soft white pastel is good for that because you can smudge it with your fingers. So I'll just draw the moon in. And then I think I'll add some clouds in the sky as well. And the clouds can be drawn in all sorts of different ways. So you can draw the, with the edge of the pastel to create a line. And then with the side of the pastel, you create a more flat tone. I often use my fingers just to smudge out the pastel. So rather than trying to correct things, I try to get rid of anything that doesn't work. And that leaves a quite a free and open drawing so they get more atmosphere in the sky. And then I guess some little stars as well, maybe not too many. You use a razor on something like a soft white pastel. If you're using black paper that's quite good quality then you can use an eraser and it will just come off quite easily. So to do that we just try and create a whole atmosphere so that the silhouette of the wolf which is howling in the full moon has a sort of nice atmosphere around it. Thank you very much for watching this YouTube video. I hope you like it. I hope you find it useful for your own drawings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel Circle Line Art School for many more art videos. I post one video a week Please click on the links below if you'd like to see how to draw a skull or how to draw the moon. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.